lots of things to talk about. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Michelle Boyd and welcome back. Winter is mother effing here, finally. Game of Thrones is actually gonna be at Comic-Con this year and it won't have just ended. First, little bit of stuff, little bit of news. I am coming back to watching Thrones. <laughs> If you haven't heard already, the show that I did last year on Screen Junkies is coming back. I'm super, super psyched. We're actually going to be filming a recap show next week, so tune in for that. We're going to be airing the show live every Monday after Game of Thrones at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Time. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be on ScreenJunkies.com. It's going to be streaming live on Screen Junkies' YouTube channel. We love it when people Skype in. We love it when people tweet us questions. I love being able to share this with everybody. I'm gonna really miss my co-host Ken Knapsack. He's over at Collider. That'll be an awesome show too. You know what? You get the best of both worlds. So let's get into this. By now, I assume that you have seen both trailers for Game of Thrones season seven, if you're like me, multiple times. We are in all new territory. We are so far beyond the books when it comes to certain storylines. First up, we're starting in the South. We have the Lannisters, specifically Cersei Lannister, standing on my new living room rug. Holy crap, I want that thing. And she's spouting as you usual. We are the Lannisters. We rule. Bow down before us. But even though we see a little bit of Jamie in the throne room, mostly what we are seeing from Jamie seems to be at Casterly Rock. Maybe? There was some speculation that Grey Worm and Danny's troops were going to be storming King's Landing already, but after looking at both trailers more, the consensus actually seems to be that they might be headed for Casterly Rock. There's a lot of stuff to support this. You got the lion heraldry on the walls of the actual castle that they're storming. You have Grey Worm going all hell Helm's Deep strategy when it comes to that little drain. Didn't Tyrion say something about his father putting him in charge of all of the drains and cisterns and Casterly Rock? Hmm, maybe he knows where they are. There's little things to support this too. You've got someone's hand knocking over the lion chess piece and Dragonstone on that awesome table that they have. That's also going in my living room. You have what looks like a bunch of Dothraki screamers and a dragon flying across a big wide grassland. Jamie coming at it with what looks like a lot of dragon fire on the ground. It makes sense if that's near Casterly Rock because you have a lot of flat, wide, open space there. My theory is that Cersei hears about Danny's forces headed towards her homeland and she sends her beloved little Valonqar brother Jaime to go and defend it. Incidentally, there might be another reason she sends Jaime away since we see squid ships heading directly for King's Landing. But why didn't Danny attack King's Landing right away? Hmm, could it be that she no longer has the ships that Yara and Theon brought her? There looks to be like a really big sea battle and what's interesting about this is that you do have a lot of fires, usually signifying dragons. We've already seen Danny's dragons know a thing or two about taking out an armada. There's a chance that Danny might have had to switch strategies after maybe her fleet was destroyed. That would explain why it looks like Euron is the first one to get up to King's Landing. Nicolaj Coaster Waldau has hinted that there might be a rival for Cersei's affections this year. Could that be the crow's eye? That would be really creepy and awful. They're both horrible. Also moving to the south from the north is Melisandre. Looks like she may have found another Azor High. I mean, if it couldn't be Stannis and it couldn't be Jon, maybe it'll be Danny. Who's she gonna pick this week? Maybe Danny won't kick her out. Both of them are a bit pyro. They should get along great. Before we totally head back up to the north, we gotta touch on something that gets resurrected more than Beric Dondarrion. Clegane Bowl! Get hyped! Look, you cannot look at that shot and tell me it is not the Hound wielding a big badass sword in the south somewhere. Why do you keep teasing us? Stop it, come on. Just give the crowd what they want. Up in the north, Mira's back is finally saying, thank the old gods and new you finally got a freaking wheelchair, Bran. Meanwhile, the new little green seer seems to be trying on his wings for the first time, but the Night King is clearly hip to that jive and doesn't seem too happy about it. We still don't know what's happening with that mark on Bran's arm and whether or not that's going to allow the White Walkers to actually cross the wall. There is a shot that seems like Castle Black exploding, so maybe that's from a fight with the White Walkers? Maybe that tears down the wall once and for all. You never should have left Dolores Ed in charge. You get a nice nod to the book readers with Sansa slash Ned's line. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. But otherwise, mostly all you just see are characters in the north. You know Arya's there, you know the Hound's there. Thank God Tormund, Brienne, and Pod are all there. Incidentally, Dragonstone, where Danny is, is known for having a lot of dragonglass and obsidian. Maybe she'll find a whole bunch? Maybe we can finally get some much needed supplies. Death predictions. I gotta say, I think Theon's gonna bite it this year. There is that shot where it's definitely Euron on the beach, but I can't tell who's collapsing in a heap in front of the 
vote. My gut says Theon. I've seen speculation it's Gendry, which would be awesome, but kinda random. And then you have lots of little random things. Presumably Jorah's cracked out arm reaching through a door, Alaria making out with Yara, Grey Worm making out with Missande, Littlefinger making out with Sansa. No, wait, that's just in his mind. Thanks for checking out my recap of the trailers. I'm super looking forward to Comic-Con. I'm trying to convince Screen Junkies to do some sort of panel with watching Thrones this year. Maybe you guys can come and there'll be a trivia contest for some of that awesome swag that we have. Maybe we can even convince some cast members to come on with us, which would be amazing. If you had one question to ask the showrunners about the upcoming season, what would it be? Tell me down below in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. Be sure to check out Watching Thrones on Screen Junkies. I'll be posting like mad as soon as all of it goes up. I'm super, super excited about this upcoming season. I can't wait to talk about it with all of you. Follow me on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram. I'm Michelle Boyd on all platforms. Witcher is here! While there was some speculation that Grey Worm and all of the that Grey Worm, there was some speculation that Grey Worm and some of Danny's troops were actually going to be storming the castle already down at Lan um, King's Landing. We're actually, nah, King's, I can't even say it's off Atlantisport.